everyone, this is Allison at Fanshawe Pioneer Village. Today I am at Caver Hill Woodworking Shop and this building was built in the 1870s, originally um, along the border in the Vanek area between the Lobo and London townships. It was built by William Caver Hill. He is actually the grandfather of the gentleman who donated this building to us. His name is John Caver Hill. He actually um, donated this building with a gentleman named John Rennie, who he had sold the property as well as this building, being that it was on the property, to um, in the later period. So they donated this building to the Pioneer Village in 1972. So it's been here for a fair while. The building, um, when it was built in the 1870s, as I mentioned, was from uh, very close to Lobo, so this was actually very close to where the Jury family used to live. So today we're going to take a little walk around, explore, and I'll tell you some history of this building. So, let's flip this around here. So here we have our woodworking shop. William Caverhill was actually a farmer as well as a carpenter, and he was a very good carpenter. His work was found all over the place, and it was quite diverse. It spanned from things like furniture all the way to houses. He actually was involved with the construction of two different um, churches in the area around where he lived. Uh, one was, I believe, Knox Presbyterian, uh, and then I'll find out the name of the other one. I'll put it in the comments below later. But when he worked in this shop, uh, he was both a farmer and a woodworker, as I say. So he was dividing his time between those two things. Originally, this building was a two-story building. So if you look up, originally there used to be a floor up above these beams. But when they moved the, the building to the Pioneer Village, a number of the beams were starting to rot away. So they had to be repaired and replaced. And that was done with the support of some students. And attached to this uh, black or uh, woodworking shop originally was a blacksmith shop. So if you ever come to the Pioneer Village and you take a look at the woodworking shop here in front of me, uh, during the summer months, Uncovered is a model of this woodworking shop. So here we have kind of different views of it. So the blacksmith shop was not brought to the Pioneer Village because in the 1930s, the woodworking shop was moved around the Caver Hill property. Uh, so it did not come and it continued to be used as the family's sugar shanty for a very long time. But the woodworking shop went through a number of changes over the years. So originally, I don't know if you can see this, through the plastic, this shop was powered by horsepower. And it was a four-arm sweep. Even though there are only four horses in the diagram, sometimes it would be powered by eight horses. And in 1883, it was an accident that involved the horse sweep that actually killed William Caver Hill's a pulley broke apart when one of the horses was spooked and it actually struck James in the head and he passed away from that injury. Now, after that, it wasn't until the 1930s that this uh, woodworking shop actually replaced the horsepower as its primary means of power. At that point, it was replaced by a C case tractor engine. And then that was used to power the belts and things to make all of the equipment run. So here behind me, we have some of our equipment. So here we have our band saw over this way. Let's flip this back around. We have a bench saw. We have our molding cutter. We also have a jigsaw over this way. And a number of these pieces of uh, woodworking equipment actually came original from this building. 
So in 1933, so not too long after the means of power was replaced for the woodworking shop, William Caverhill passed away. The building continued to be used for some minor woodworking projects for the family, but it was primarily used for storage after that. As I mentioned, the Caverhills sold the property that this building was uh, originally located on, and so it wasn't until 1972 that this building was donated to the Pioneer Village, again, by John Caverhill, who is the grandson of William Caverhill, and he actually is still very involved with the Pioneer Village, as well as a gentleman named John Rennie. Uh, John Caverhill actually has continued to donate things to the Pioneer Village over and over and over again. And it is actually John Caverhill who built this wonderful model of the woodworking shop. He's also made us models of the Caverhill's farmstead as well as their sugar shanty. So all kinds of things. He is a fantastic woodworker. He, um, if you come to the Pioneer Village, is also the gentleman responsible a lovely diagram of different means of transportation that uh, is on the wall in the toll gate and he developed that for our agricultural fair a couple of years ago. Now I have a very personal story about Caver Hill Woodworking Shop. It was on my first day working at the Pioneer Village in May of 2013. Uh, I had just finished my master's research and had just presented uh, my master's thesis and was just waiting for feedback on that. And I started a part-time casual job here at the Pioneer Village. And it was on the day that I started that the Caverhill Woodworking Shop was moved to the location that it is now in the Pioneer Village. So it has moved around a couple of times. So when I started that day, the woodworking shop was located in the space behind the Denfield General Store, right across from where the toll gate sort of entrance is. Now in that space, there are some trees planted, but it's also uh, now being faced by the tinsmith shop that's there. So in the morning, this building was jacked up and a truck was coming and the truck was being loaded with the shop. And by the time I left that day, the shop had moved around the entire village and had come to sit in this space here. So this village, uh, this building in particular has a rather uh, special place in my heart, just like some of the other buildings here. I love them all, but there are some that have this extra special connection to, to you, and this is one of mine. Um, I hope everybody has a lovely day. I will see you very soon, and I hope everyone is enjoying the little bit of sunshine that's come out after our rain this morning. Have a good afternoon.